Good afternoon, everyone. We'll uh, start the program for this afternoon. And uh, like, unlike the others who said, I'm the only thing between you, you and lunch, I'm the first thing after lunch. So that's, uh, it's not normally a very good position to be because many people feel a bit sleepy after lunch. And uh, so we need to focus our attention. Um, I think we've had a very interesting morning. Uh, and, and I think the discussions I had with a few patients outside is one of them asking me, what, what do you think of the day? And I think the message that I'm getting as I got from the first time, and, and I think all of you are appreciating, is this is a situation when we can allow the interaction that many times we don't have in clinics themselves, because we don't have time, this much time, to be talking in a clinic setup. And I think what happens here is, is an exchange between clinicians understanding your needs, understanding your frustrations, uh, your worries, and you understanding our limitations and understanding where we are trying to get to. And, and that interaction makes it easier for us to develop more research and we understand what we need to offer you and you understand what we're trying to do. So this, this side is very important. So we, we are speaking the same language and we are working together towards the same objective. And that's an essential part of this communication that this birdshot day allows us to, to achieve. Uh, you, you heard about clinical manifestations, you heard about treatments, you heard a bit about some research networking that's been going on. And this afternoon we have two, this session we have two speakers. Um, we have Mr. Alistair Denniston, who is a consultant and senior lecturer in Birmingham, and Professor Glenn Jeffrey, who works at the Institute of Ophthalmology. And the, the talks will focus, one, on reviewing in a way what is out there in terms of research in, in birdshot, uh, which is what you know, we, we, I think you want to know, what is going on that is going to help me in the future? And, and that's the question I get in all of the clinics. You know, well, do you have anything new? And clearly we are working towards new developments and, and things take a bit of time sometimes to get to clinical use, but you can be assured that yes, things are happening. And the second talk is to do with, with vitamin D, the evidence, and it's part of this keeping well and, and all other factors that will be discussed. And, and Glenn will, will really strike the right key on that one, I'm pretty sure. So let's start with Alistair. Then I invite you up here to, to talk about the outcomes of re recent research into birdshot. Thank you. Thank you. 